Hi, this is probably the first time you've seen my face, ever, so let me introduce myself. My name's Pete, also known as Pete's Jams on YouTube, and I'm going to be doing some reviews for y'all. Now, normally I'll be doing reviews of anything really musical, and I don't mean, like, musical theatre, like, no! No, I mean anything to do with music, so any albums that are coming out, any particular bands or artists, or maybe singles, if that's still a thing. Because that's what I do, I'm a musician, I write, I write and do music. I do music? I do do music. I like her, do da cha cha. Ten points for anyone who gets that reference. So as I said, normally I'll be reviewing music things, but today I thought I'd, I'd start off my first review with a film. So recently I went to the cinema and I saw Men in Black 4. R.I.P.D. With Jeff Bridges and Ryan Reynolds. And Kevin Bacon. Not Men in Black 4. RAPD stands for Rest in Peace Department, which as you can probably gather from that, means opening a can of hot sweet justice on dead people. So as I said before, this film features Jeff Bridges and Ryan Reynolds as deceased law enforcers who have been sent back to Earth to rid the planet of these monstrous kind of spirits, or deados, as they're called in the film, um, that have managed to kind of cheat the system a little bit and been a bit cheeky and made it, managed to make it back to Earth to hide in human form. This isn't Men in Black with dead people. It's not Men in Black with dead people. And we have our villain played by Kevin Bacon. Of course Kevin Bacon's playing the villain. Of course he is. Why wouldn't he play the villain? Now, without spoiling too much, whilst our two heroes are gallivanting around trying to tackle this monster problem, dead people problem, this is not Men in Black, this is totally different, Kevin Bacon is essentially trying to do the opposite and take over the world with this army of deados. Now, I enjoyed this film. I did. It made me laugh and I got all the way to the end without being bored in the slightest. But, as a film... It's just lazy. First off, we'll start with the chemistry between Jeff Bridges and Ryan Reynolds. There isn't much. Both of them are good actors in their own right, and they've starred in some amazing films. But together... Eh. It seemed like a lot of the time, Jeff Bridges was more focused on his cowboy accent than his movements, and, J and Ryan Reynolds was just Ryan Reynolds. Ryan Reynolds. Ryan Reynolds. Is Ryan Reynolds. Saying that, Jeff Bridges' character was definitely my favourite part about this film. As I said earlier, they're both law enforcers, yet Bridges' character Roy is from way, way back in like the Wild West times. So the idiosyncrasies from that time, like the cowboy kind of. <laughs> It's the worst impression of a cowboy ever. The idiosyncrasies from that and the actions cut definitely shine through in his character during times in this film. Ah! Kevin Bacon's performance was decent in my opinion, but to be honest, he didn't really have a lot to do. They didn't really do a lot with him. Half the film, he just seemed to be sort of walking around, acting a bit shifty, and he just, he seemed like, he came across as more just a bit of a knob than an actual villain. All right, let's move on. CGI. If there's one surefire way to rip you out of a movie, it's terrible CGI. This movie has got it by the bucket load. The monsters, or dead people, they don't even look real. They look like something a disturbed child would make if you gave them a pot of Play-Doh and some gone-off LSD. And half the time it was unnecessary as well. I mean, they could have done so much more with, like, makeup and prosthetics rather than create an entire CGI performance of, an, of a whole character. It just seems really pointless. It's like laziness by not by being less lazy than you, you could have been. It's just... I will say this, though. The cinematography was pretty good. There were some really cool, like, quick zoom shots. Like, if, if someone fired a bullet, it'd sort of follow it, and it'd be really cool. It was almost like there was, like, multiple shots that sort of made it look like one shot, and then... That, that, was, that was kind of really... That was a cool element that had it made it look quite slick. But at the same time, you can't polish a turd. So... It, the cinematography didn't really make up for anything, in my opinion. It didn't make up for the rest of the movie being all over the place. But with all that said, I still enjoyed this movie overall. It still made me laugh, I still wasn't bored by it. Um, despite how messy the whole thing was, I, 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 if I were you, I wouldn't feel ripped off if I paid to go see it at the cinema. So if you've seen this movie, let me know in the comments what you thought of it. Or just how fit you think Ryan Reynolds is in every movie. That works too. It's up to you. <laughs> So I hope you've enjoyed my first review and meeting my face today, guys. In case you've been wondering this entire video, yeah, that's me when I was like two or three years old. Just in case you were wondering. Alright, until next time when I'm reviewing something a bit more musical, I love you lots and see you later.